Hello, sweet friends, and welcome. Um, I have to share something with you. So, my normal system of my stickers has... It's exploded. Um, I usually keep them in a crate <laughs> in these little file folders, and yeah, it's not working. So, I had to come up with a different solution, and they were just out of control. Okay, so, <clears throat> yeah old cookbook and I don't think it's actually very old um, I got it at a thrift store probably about 50 cents and you can find binders like this all the time like recipe binders and stuff but here's why I love them because they'll come with page protectors and so and then these divider pages. And so I was able to craft this into a sticker storage system. Um, but I have to tell you, this is only one of my sticker, like I have a lot of stickers. <laughs> I have a sticker problem. Um, this is only one of my little folders. Here, I'll show you. This is only one of my little folders in my crate. Okay, so this is the one that I labeled kids, but it had um, like characters and stuff like that. So I just, I have to go to the dentist here really quickly. So I just wanted to flip through and show you this really quickly. I worked on this last night. All right, and sorry about the lighting. Okay, so I used the page protectors, plus I also um, had some left over from like when I did Project Life and all that good stuff. And, um, and then I sewed some of my own with just regular page protectors. Okay, so here we go. Flip through. Okay, so I can, in my mind, this is how I've organized it. So these are like my um, Trader Joe's. If you ever go to Trader Joe's. Oh, here's another one. Um, they'll give you stickers. And so, yep. Um, these are like my <clears throat> current. These are current stickers and they yeah they're just old current stickers these are highlights magazines so highlights magazines i used to love those and i would teach with those um, when i taught uh, first grade so i have some of those stickers more highlights smiley faces um smiley faces a lot of dollar tree stickers i was able to stick in here so my beanie baby stickers my kids my own personal kids loved beanie babies i mean we still have all of their beanie babies so i don't know where i got these beanie baby stickers but they were just scattered and so i put them all i put them all together so yeah um then i my thinking was okay stickers that my kids loved when they were little kids so characters that my kids would would have really really enjoyed and if I'm doing a spread or something about one of my kids I could always pull in one of these stickers so Blue's Clues, Rugrats, Mario, Clifford or we used to call him Durford um, just some other vintage stickers Barney these were some Valentine stickers that I had gotten um, in a set of Valentines from Dollar Tree, Spongebob, Pokemon Star Wars, um, then I go into <clears throat> S uh, Sesame Street and Muppet Babies, and I have a lot of those, so I just stuck them all in there. My one son loved dinosaurs, so I stuck all his, like, dinosaur stickers here, and then my other one loved trucks and dump trucks and things like that, and so then this is just um, monsters and uh, Winnie the Pooh. And again, you'll see I just have an assortment of page protectors and some of these are ones that I just made and I sewed on my sewing machine. These are not stickers, but there's some labels, Cabbage Patch Kid, um, Kids and a wonderful friend sent these to me. Trucks, Snoopy, then this, I have a lot of Snoopy stickers, so I just stuck them in this big container here um, or this big pouch here. Garfield, and then I think there's also some Heathcliff. So now I'm moving into more stickers that my brother and I would have loved. So still keeping with like the name brand character type of stickers. Strawberry Shortcake, I have some vintage, but most of them are new. 
My Little Ponies, Ponies and Kitties, um, Kitties. This is from my diary, if you're following me in my, um, my sticker journal. That's from my diary. Hello Kitties. I'll be honest guys, vintage Hello Kitty, hard to come by very hard to come by. So all of these are newer Hello Kitty, but you know what? Hello Kitty is Hello Kitty. Um, okay. And then I have a ton of shirt tails. Do you remember shirt tails? Oh my gosh. Loved shirt tails. So I have t lots of shirt tails. I was not, I didn't, I was not, um, like I didn't know this, but this is a character. It says 1996 from the Whimsies storybooks. So this is Gimme, um, and I was not, a, like, I didn't know this, so this is just some sticker packages. I thought they were cute because of the gardening theme, but then I found out they were actually a character. Some Susie Zoo, and I've got some more Susie Zoo, I just don't know where they are. Um, Care Bear, Rose Petal Place. I was not, this was like 1983, and I was not a Rose Petal Place person. Um, I didn't even know it existed until um, somehow I've gotten this, this um, sticker sheet. So, love my Care Bear stamps. I love them, love them, love them. Um, so, I wanted them to have a special little, <laughs> special little place. So, I took a divider, and then I took an old... Um, like this is an old uh, slides, photo slides were in these. And so I just cut it down and I sewed it, but then I didn't like how it, I don't know. I ended up and I just used my tape runner and I put, there's some adhesive on the back. So these little guys slip in and out. And you know, maybe I'll start using these now that they're not stashed in this big crate where everything falls apart. Then I moved into just vintage, not necessarily characters, but they're just vintage. So these are my vintage girls. These are not vintage stickers, but they remind me of Hummel. And I had a lot of, hum lot of Hummel collectibles when um, I was a little girl. I remember my grandma got me one uh, for Christmas and you turned it on and you put a little drop of perfume in it and the heat from the light inside the figurine would make your... Um, perfume. I mean, you, we use them now all the time. You plug them in, but um, it would make your perfume like emanate throughout the room. And so I saw those, I don't know where I got these, but uh, Cargo Largo, I think, which is like an outlet store, but I liked those. Um, these are old. You can tell they're old because of the discoloration. And then I made another one of those coin pockets again. These are like my favoriteest of the favorite stickers. So these are some this is going to be some uh, Holly Hobby. I have a few old um, Raggedy Ann and Andy. More Hallmark. Um, this is a brandy wine. I didn't know that brand, but 1978. This is, um, these actually smell, yeah, they kind of smell bubblegumish. Um, and I'm not for sure what the date is on that. And then I have a few M&Ms. And then over here, I have, um, okay, confession. I went to a stationery store yesterday, <laughs> and it's my favorite stationery store. It's called Wonder Fair, and it's in Lawrence, Kansas. And so I got some, um, I got some stickers. So I put those stickers in here, and then just um, some other stickers that I have that I was trying to find some places for. And uh, then I have, like, I, whenever I go to a shop, especially if it's a local store, I'll always purchase a sticker from there. And when I get home, I always throw them on my table and then I go to use them and I can't find them. So I thought, well, I'm going to start sticking them in here. And so, yep. And then a lot of times I'll get stickers from places and I'll pull it off of the packaging. So this is some stickers that I pulled off the packaging. And yeah, so there you go. And like I said, that's just one. There's my alarm, which means um, I've got to go to the dentist. All right, my friends. Um, I hope this inspires you to maybe go through your stash and see what you have. Um, is it organized? Um, do you want to organize it? I will tell you, I didn't want to do this because it was too daunting. But once I started doing it, I was obsessed. And now I think I want to organize the rest of them. And so, yeah, and these little binders, 
you can get, I'm telling you, go to a thrift store and 50 cents, 75 cents, maybe a dollar. Um, and they worked great because it was like the page protectors and all that good stuff. Okay, so quick little video. Um, I hope you're healthy. I hope you're happy. I hope you have a great rest of the day. And I will see you soon. Bye.